The secure containers are one of the most important parts of Escape from Tarkov, and depending on what edition of the game you bought, you might start with a different one, and it can be confusing figuring out how to get the other ones in game. So I wanted to make a quick guide on how to get every single secure container in Escape from Tarkov. I've made this guide before, but that was a long time ago, and I wanted to redo it with the most up-to-date information for you. I stream Escape from Tarkov on Twitch. You can check me out using my link below, and we are getting so close to 100,000 subscribers here on YouTube. So if you like this video or if you like my content, think about hitting that subscribe button, and thank you so much to those that do. Anyways, with all that out of the way, Let's go ahead and dive right in. So obviously the secure containers are huge because anything that you put in there, you get to keep no matter what happens if you die or if you live. If you want to know more about what fits in there or the whole find and raid thing, check out my full Escape from Tarkov beginner's guide for that. Anyways, there is five, technically six secure containers in Escape from Tarkov. If you bought the standard edition of the game, you are going to start with the uh, alpha container. The alpha container is a two by two secure container. Uh, if you do happen to lose it for some reason, which I don't even think you can do anymore because you can't really drop them in raid, you can purchase this from Peacekeeper for 7,975 USD. Uh, I don't think anybody really ever does that because I don't think you can lose them anymore, but that's there. It's two by two. If you buy the prepare for escape edition of the game or higher, you get the beta container, uh, which you is a two by three. So you get two additional slots in your secure container, which is awesome. Uh, if you bought the standard edition of the game, you can actually purchase this at level two peacekeeper. Uh, for it's a barter for a military battery, three iridium, three vertexes, and five military cables. Based on the value of what all these things are right now, that's about 1.1 million rubles. It's nice that Lighthouse came out and made all of these things that used to be hundreds of thousands of rubles a little bit more affordable. But yeah, at level two, you can purchase one of these via barter for about 1.1 million rubles worth of stuff. If you're level 15, you can buy this stuff on the flea market and do that barter. I would say though, and I think most people would say, potentially hold off on that because the next secure container is the Epsilon container. The Epsilon is a two by four secure container. So it's basically two alpha containers side by side. And it technically is only one less slot than the gamma container. So with three by three, that means we have nine cells here four by two, that means we have eight. So only one less slot than the uh, gamma container. Now, the only way to get the Epsilon is through a quest line from proper called the Punisher. It has six different parts, and I am definitely not saying this is easy. If you are newer to the game, getting through the quest can be pretty brutal, and it can be pretty frustrating. If this is your second or third wipe, I would definitely say, uh, really at all, but if you've played the game a little bit, then I would definitely say this is a worthy goal to set your sights on. Once you get to the Punisher part six, if you complete it, this quest specifically is kill, you know, 15 PMCs with the SVD, turn it a bunch of dog tags, you get the Epsilon secure container. So the Punisher, six quests long, they can be frustrating, they can be uh, hard to complete, but with that 1.1 million rubles that you were going to potentially spend on the beta container, you can use that buying the kits that you need or buying the gear that you need to try and get through the Punisher series. Once again, I totally understand if it's your first wipe, that can be pretty daunting. But if you've played a little bit, then this is a really rewarding quest line. You get a bunch of stuff too. You get like a docs case throughout uh, as well, pistol cases, a lot of XP, the ability to buy really good ammo. So the Punisher series is definitely one that I would say is worth going through if you're trying to get through these quests. And that is how you get one of the one of the better secure containers in the game. The Gamma Container is the 3x3 that you start with if you purchase the Edge of Darkness edition of the game. You cannot get this secure container any other way, no matter what. The only way to have the Gamma is to purchase the Edge of Darkness version of the game. You can get close with the Epsilon, but there's no way to get the Gamma any other way. And that brings us to the biggest secure container in the game, which is the Cap Container. The Cap Container is 4x3, so it's basically a Gamma Container with three additional up here. So 4x3, it has 12 individual cells, and it is pretty huge and anybody in the game can get the cap container although it is pretty out of reach if you are a newer player you get the cap container by completing almost every single quest in the game and that unlocks a quest from fence that quest is called the collector and in order to complete that quest you have to be level 62 which uh, even I who have played this game quite a long time have only been over level 60 once or twice ever uh, and you have to turn in every single streamer item in the game so like the Veritas guitar pick the golden rooster there's a list of them on the wiki there's like 15 or something now there's a ton of them but you have to find all of them they have to be found in raid you have to reach level 62 and complete almost every single quest in the game and then you get the kappa container so it's cool to have some like super end game thing to be working towards uh, but if you are newer to the game that is going to be really really out of touch getting to level 62 is 
really, really hard to do, although it is a little bit easier now with the daily and weekly tasks. Technically, there is one more secure container. It's called the waste pouch. It looks like a little fanny pack. Uh, it is two by two, just like the alpha container. And I believe the only way to get it is through the scav case in your hideout. It's an old, old thing from way, way back in the game, but that is it. They have teased other containers like you can see here. We have no idea how big these are. And, and I think that they are going to add more as the game progresses, but that is it. That is how you get every single secure container in the game. I hope that this helps, even if it just clears something up or gives you like a goal or something to save for or push for to get the secure container that you want in Escape from Tarkov. Thank you so much as always for taking the time to check out this video. If you liked the video, think about dropping a like, commenting down below, or subscribing to the channel for more content like this. Like we said before, I stream Escape from Tarkov on Twitch. All my links will be down below. I'd love to have you stop by and say hey. And if you're looking for people to play Tarkov with, our Discord server is an awesome place to be. That link is down below as well. Thank you again for stopping by, and I will definitely see y'all on the next one.